Okay, well, another day, another jig. <clears throat> All right, um, we're trimming down the 17 HMRs. Uh, I originally started out with a 9mm in my um, Lyman trimmer. Then I decided that, that wasn't good enough. <clears throat> So I went to a 45 Auto, which added stability and uh, worked a lot better. Then I realized I was going the wrong direction. I got stuck on one idea. Uh, and the final trim is on, on the mini cutoff saw. But the original was I couldn't figure out a way to do it on the on the lineman trimmer so um that has a friction fit and just zip for some reason i i didn't i don't know for the initial one i was worried about how it was going to sit in there why i don't know i think i was afraid that it was going to work itself back but when you turn this down, it compresses the wood a little bit and forms a friction fit. Basically, um, it's a lot like my final uh, length uh, jig, except it's not extended. And I took a Forstner bit. And I just brought it down to where, between here and that, I get the length I want. And it's working pretty well. And I just push it out with a small bicycle spoke I ground the end down on. Alright, let's get a little closer. Blast your ears. <laughs> All right, let's. It just takes the neck off, which is good. Which is good. You get the idea. It actually goes pretty quick. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Oh. Actually, I've got a fair amount I've done. Here's some I already had. I have collected. The remainder of uh, what Elvis sent. Get these done and now uh, we'll move on to the next step. All right, later. Yeah, I, um, that bag I had 17 HMRs looks like I had actually tumbled them. So, yeah, here's one that was tumbled before it was denecked, and here's one that hasn't been cleaned yet. Uh, I'm gonna throw in some more, you know, that aren't. RT neck, I think, and compare. And well, we'll see uh, if uh, the ones that are D neck come out cleaner or about the same to see if it's you know worth worth doing it before or not. But yeah, there is definitely a difference. There's a little small amount but uh, nothing really to write home about all right later let's see what we've got ah 
nice and shiny. Um, I did throw in some 17 HMR that I didn't cut the necks off of. Also made the mistake, uh, one that was fully sized. <laughs> I got lucky. Uh, I saw two of these stuck together like that. I pulled apart, and there's one fully sized one in there, but it was sticking out enough where I could pull it. Almost lost, <laughs> lost those. Um, yeah, 17 HMR, um, Back when I first started this, I got a handful or two at the range, and I had already cleaned those, and they look pretty good inside, so I'm kind of expecting the same. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is trashed. I was fully expecting to find one of these 22 wind mags stuffed to the gills with uh, pins, but I didn't, and I'm really glad because... Oh man, one, two. They'd probably stack four high, is my guess, and a whole lot more. I did find one that got um, a short, short one lodged sideways here, and I was, I managed, yeah, I managed to get it out by just smacking it on, th basically throwing it against a magnet till it finally worked itself out. Um, I think I got lucky on that, really. So, i dry these, and then we'll, uh, move on with it. Uh, let me think. Oh, yeah. One thing, uh, back when, uh, my magnet, si uh, situation, Country Boy Prepper, uh, pointed out that the Frankfurt Arsenal's aren't like the little one I have. I used to have, I can't find it. I have one somewhere. In, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's from Harbor Freight. And I used to use it in the garage, picking up nuts and bolts. And it wasn't like that. It it worked really well. And I my thinking was, well, if Harbor Freight can get it right, anybody can. So I assumed they were all the same. Mm-hmm. Let's say it's about to assume. Uh, <laughs> I was proven wrong. So, yeah. Uh, my Frankfurt Arsenal magnet will be here tomorrow. <laughs> oh, well. Um, so, then I'll be uh, all set with that. Um, let me think. Anything else? My, uh. Base punch for the rebated boat tails should be here by Saturday, I guess. Um, so, well, that all depends on you, um, Postal Service. So. <laughs> you know how that can be. Day early, months late. Um, never know. All right. Uh, just figured I'd let you know what I did. Not much. <laughs> so, let's see. Yeah, next time we'll uh, size them up. Draw them out. And, uh, incorporate this into the whole mess. Uh, I need to keep them separated, really, from the 22. Because it is its own monster. Just because of the extra steps, but yeah, it's the same thing, only different. <laughs> All right, I'll see you next time. Later. Alrighty then. Um, interesting development. I found that I made all the mistakes I warned you about. <laughs> um. Okay, use these dim room. Um. E rim to six mil, not a problem. D rim to twenty two, problem. Here's what I got lucky. I'm I'm wondering if 
heating in the oven caused a little steam and pushed these out because obviously as far as I can tell I got all of them back there were um, five of them in the batch uh, fit right in now take six six mil and 22 and it with enough force it'll go in a little bit but that's about it um, actually that one is the case of the mouth has flared a little more um, wonder if I had some issues with that uh, it'll just whoop, it'll just start in so yeah, if it gets wedged, it's not getting cleaned. But I'm thinking that's really the only issue. And... Okay. The, the 6 mil won't fit in. So that's safe. Uh, I have to cut these open see what they look like inside. I threw in a handful that I hadn't de-necked just to see and I found three I won't use these are just too far gone um, so just a little bit but yeah it's starting the elements getting to it these I mean, we've all seen worse but they start to weaken up but really that's not bad three um, three of them I can't use I can live with that all right, um, whew, I guess I have to de-neck those and take a look in a bit. All right, the group on the left are the ones I just de-necked, and the group on the right were the ones I de-necked and then tumbled. Uh, looks like it's pretty much a wash. Um, the ones that were de-necked first look a little better, but it's pretty surprising, um, that they're not, you know, giant compared. Um, there's a wide variety you go through, and it's like you know, some look beautiful. That's a 22 win mag, and it looks lovely. Um, for some reason, oh, there's 17 HMI. It looks a little better. It's pretty hit and miss. Probably if I ran them through for longer be better results but um i still think it's probably better to de-neck them first got to do it anyway so uh, why not give them the um, the um you know the best chance and while they're tumbling it kind of smooths off some of the edges still got to final trim them to the length um i was informed that that's die specific the die I had was one inch. Um, I've got to determine what this one is. Uh, I haven't done that yet. But uh, it'll probably still be roughly the same. It has to do with the bearing surface inside the die. Uh, no two were quite the same, so. <laughs> I don't know what I came down with yesterday, but it's affected my voice. And... Ooh, lovely. Hopefully it doesn't get worse. All right, well, I'll leave you with that for now. And um, next time, we'll do something. <laughs> I'm not sure which way I'm going to go with it at this point because it's kind of a, a forked project I've created. Um, 22 long rifle and the... 17 HMR 22 wind mag you know they're two forks of the same two heads of the same snake all right now I'll see you later bye all right um I realized that uh, I can't
kind of got off track on the uh, talking about the magnet part, you know, squirrel. Uh, <laughs> but um, in an earlier video, I mentioned that I laid, you know, lay the casings flat, and I take the magnet and I just tap and lift. And there is a reason for that. But I forgot to mention what it was. Reason being that even in the 22 LRs, if there's just a single uh, media pin inside, the attraction is pretty weak. So if you you know you just graze another one while you're moving the magnet, it has a tendency to knock it off and the pin not come out. So if I tap and lift, I can either see. You know, there's one, they're attached, you know, attracted to the magnet. Or, you know, I can tap down again and, you know, hopefully without, you know, knocking off the the casing. If I just, uh, I have better luck that way. So, yeah, I just realized that I totally forgot to mention why I do that. <laughs> Alright, uh, see you in the next one. Alright, uh, on a whim I decided to tumble these again, so, yeah, the results are a bit better, not perfect, but a lot better, god, focus, there we go, um, so, yeah, maybe if an hour and a half straight through might make a difference, hour and a half, two hours, I guess, the strange thing is, the 22 wind mags, they look perfect pretty much anyway, but the 17 HMRs didn't look very good. Um, my, my guess was that the length, the extra length over the 22 long rifle made it harder to clean because those look pretty good in an hour. Um, then the 22, um, wind mags they look good my other thinking is that maybe because of the neck on the 17 hmr maybe um the you know the powder burn the fouling stays in there and is more concentrated and harder to clean it's the only thing i can think of but yeah looks like they benefit from uh, a longer tumble cycle than the 22 long rifle and all right country boy pepper i took your advice uh this finally arrived today um and yeah it is different than that cheap one i got and like i said i figured since my old harbor freight one worked great that you know as cut rate as they tend to be if they could get it right anybody could get it right and well, it appears that sometimes Harbor Freight just manages to get things right yeah, as often as they get things wrong. <laughs> um, it's amazing that sometimes they have decent products. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, just thought I'd throw that in there. Uh, next time we'll... Do something. <laughs> I'm not sure which way I'll I'll go with it with the uh, long rifle or with these, but eh, we'll know when we get there. All right, later.